Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon right here on Missildine Online. What's up? That's me. This is my channel. Hey, thank you guys so much for uh, for wanting The Legend of Dragoon series to continue. You in the comments telling me, like, where is it? I want more. Uh, honestly, really made my life, and uh, I appreciate it. I know that this series isn't for everybody, but uh, I like that it's for you. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, in the last episode was a missable episode, uh, which means that we went over uh, all of the things that I think are missable at this point in the game. We just started Dis 2. The War of Sertio has ended. Bale and Kazaz are now at peace. Emperor Dole has been defeated. Albert is the sole reign leader of Sertio. Uh, and we saw that a mayor has been appointed. It was actually the Sandora commander from the... Uh, from the basically the first episode of this entire series uh he was made the mayor by popo uh it's, it was it was basically uh, an episode going over dialogue that only exists at the beginning of disc two uh so it was it was a missable episode you could skip it if you wanted it's no big deal uh in this episode though we're going to continue on with the story and head to the barons and head to denau Den uh after that which is my favorite part of the entire game uh, and you'll see why. So I want to show you some things that I did off screen as well. Uh, Shayna, you'll notice, is Dragoon level 3 now. If we go ahead and look at her magic, she now knows Gates of Heaven, uh, which is very cool. You'll also notice that I equipped her with the Legend Cask. You'll also notice that Albert here is also equipped with the Legend Cask, meaning I actually farmed up enough gold to get a second one uh, off off screen which is which is pretty cool i did it by killing that robot over and over uh hashel also has uh, a new dragoon level and he learned thunder kid he also has atomic mind and we haven't actually seen his dragoon transformation just yet for additions we are looking okay uh dart is just getting to 99 for crush dance since he doesn't have anything else that he can possibly do and uh hashel is here powering up a double punch to max and shayna is shayna so you know, is what it is. All right, so we were here. We went to Lohan. We bought what we needed. We did our backtracking. Let's continue on with the story. Let's head back to Tiberoa. Ty Tiberoa. Tib Tibero Tibiroa. And we'll continue all the way over to the Barrens. Now, you could rest at Fletz, which is the capital of Tiberoa, by the way. That was the city that we were in at the start of Dis 2. And I realized I actually never said the name of the city. It is Twin Castle in Fletz. Um... And that is the capital of Tiberoa. I realized I never said that. Anyways, I want to skip this bit. Something else that I should point out is that now that Shayna's at Dragoon level 3, she's actually getting 70 SP for every single auto attack that she does with her bow, which is a lot. Very cool. All right, so right here, my friends, is the Barons. Now, I would highly recommend putting Shayna in your party because her Dragoon will do something very, very cool, but really only at this boss fight that's coming up. And if you want to see it, then you might want her in your party. I also recommend making sure that you have some Angel's Prayer. Uh, you might you might need them. We are in the Barrens. A barren land called the Barrens. We'll go up here right away where we can go ahead and pick up a new equipment for Hashel called the Warrior Dress. What a man wearing the, wearing the Warrior Dress. It's actually a very good, uh, very good, very good thing for him, especially because he doesn't really, we just, you know, he doesn't have anything that's unique to him right now. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll equip. Oh my God, I have too much stuff. Let me tell you. Warrior dress. Look at that, guys. Look at how much that actually increases his stuff. Magic defense goes up, his defense goes up, and his uh, uh, evade actually goes up as well to physical attacks by 20%, which is actually super cool. Hashel is uh, a really, really good party member. I really enjoy having him here. All right, so we're going to continue over this, like, land bridge here, which is pretty cool. We're going to get into a battle. That's fine. Now, these are some new enemies that we haven't seen before. The Frilled Lizard, which will be very easy to defeat, and I don't think you're really going to worry about that, and a Stinger. Uh, n neither of these enemies drop anything that you should be um, trying to farm or get. Oops, I messed that up. Uh, nothing like that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to kill them all and uh, and whatnot. But there is an enemy called the Arrow Shooter that can actually drop something called Bemusing Arrows, uh, which is a weapon for Shayna. And, of course, that attack is going to miss because why not? 
So because we've never seen these enemies before, I obviously want to just show them off to you. These are brand new. We haven't seen them. It's crazy to me how low the experience is, too, at this point in the game. Like, we're barely 74. 74. There is a big thing about experience that I could talk to you guys about. Uh, but I think we're going to save that for just a little bit further into the series. Also, kind of a cool Easter egg thing here. But if you look on the screen, you can see this big bird thing flying by. It's only in this this map. And it's just... that's We have no idea what that is. It's just flying by. It's very cool. All right. Make sure you're healthy and then proceed into the second screen of the Barrens. Looks cool, huh? Oh. What was that? <laughs> are you dating those girls in a place like this? Who, who are you? <laughs> Did you hear that? They are asking us who we are. I guess they think we're a bunch of doctors. Should be a quack. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We are the one and only Garage Gang. We're so bad we scare ghosts back to hell. They have no class. Hey, what did you say? Yo, Mappy, how should I cook these dumb hits? Well, hmm, I know what. Let's get our reward of money and the bimbos. We have nothing to give you, but if you insist, how about a miserable ending for you? Stop yapping like that. Just leave your valuables. It's that simple. Get out of our way. We don't have time to play with you. This is your last chance. Get out of our way or you'll need a real doctor. Uh, ah, I'm totally pissed. Smash their heads, will ya, brother? Oh, my God. First of all, that was really hard to do with my voice and stuff. Second of all, wait until you see Shayna absolutely dominate these bandits. They are dark-type enemies, and I think you're going to see just what she is capable of with her star children. So we're actually just going to go ahead and punch Mappy here. He's the... Oh, I missed. Vanished. What? We're going to go ahead and defend with Dart, waiting for Shayna to go ahead and use her special. Now, Mappy does have an attack called Throat Slit, which he can use to, uh, well, it's exactly like it sounds, and it actually inflicts can't combat status on you, which is why I said you need angel prayers. All right, Shayna, let's do it. Let's show these bandits what Star Children is capable of. What is that? Are we stuck? Is the sound? Guys, I think I broke the sound. I think I broke the sound. It's broken. Oh no! <laughs> That's okay. We'll go ahead and use Star Children here with that horrible sound in the background. No! I mean, this is such a cool attack though, right? Watch how much damage it does to these bandits. 436 damage. They only have 300. Now, unfortunately, Mappy was able to avoid that attack. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll actually go... Uh, let's use Thunder Kid. We haven't seen that before. We're going to use it on Mappy here. Actually, we haven't seen Hashless Transformation whatsoever. So this is pretty cool for you. Now, we have a long time before we really need our... This is like a... Not a very strong boss. Mappy only has 700 health. His bandits only have 300. It's a very easy fight. But we can go ahead and see exactly how much... 202 damage just based off of that. That's not bad at all, dude. Luckily, Shayna's in her Dragoon form, so it's not going to do much to us. But we can go ahead and use Star Children on him once again. I don't think it's enough to kill him but it should do a pretty tremendous amount of damage. Maybe 436? I doubt that, though. I doubt I could be that lucky. It's 348! That's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. I hate that that sound is still happening, though. My game broke. I broke it. All right, let's go ahead and use Dart's final burst to finish off this fight. It's gonna do some damage. It's gonna do, it's, it's Dart. 
is Final Burst. I'm so sorry that the game broke and you can hear that sound. It's horrible. And let's see. Wait, there it is. 336 damage. Able to take him out in a single round. Amazing. Hey, Spike Dart transformed back. He was a level four dragoon. What's going on here? <laughs> the noise stopped, guys. Hashel's still in dragoon form. Oh. It's weird that we slowly transform back. Finish him off. Oh, we missed. Halt, halt. Wow, it's my fault. I won't do it again. Please forgive me. Just kidding. Whoa. What's this? Oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. And we get a total vanishing. You will always get that for that fight. Now, this is something that I want to point out, which I haven't actually pointed out at any time in this series because it is kind of a bug. But you can see that we get 2,000 experience. That's that's uh, uh, 6,000 experience split among all of the party members uh, that are currently in the active party. So they get 2,000 each, right? If just Shayna made it, she would get 6,000. And the backup party, instead of getting 50% of that, which is 1,000, they would actually get 150% of that, of what they were supposed to get. So they'd actually be getting three times the experience. So they would be getting about, about 1,500, or actually closer to 3,000. It's kind of crazy, but like you can break the game. A lot of speedrunners will actually have Dart dead the entire game so that he never gets experience from any of the bosses, and it will make everybody else who are better characters... Uh, they're just stronger than Dart. Uh, it it makes them so, so overpowered. We're not going to worry about, about that because we're going to be leveling everybody up to level 60 no matter what anyways uh, during this playthrough. So Dart and Hashel both got a level. Hashel is now level 16. Dart is 18. And we got a total vanishing. I'll go in depth on the uh, experience bug uh, a little bit a little bit later because there is a fight in particular that I do want to use it on. He's gone. It's my fault for not being careful enough. A dragoon spirit... A dragoon spirit being stolen is the last thing I wanted to have happen. Anyway, let's move on to Danu. We might find out something about the Garage gang when we get there. Well, that really stinks, man. All right. Well, we're going to go this way because the other way leads to a different way. And we, we don't want to... We don't want to... We don't want to go there just yet. All right. So we're going to use this. She'll bring us up here. And we can come and grab this chest right here, which is a recovery ball. Nice. Good for us. It looks like the stairs actually lead somewhere. Uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't really worry about those right now. So we're going to go this way. And you can actually use this. So I know those staircase, that staircase up there looks like it's going somewhere. It's not. We get 50 G. Not that big of a deal, but hey, every little bit counts. And that's two chests that we didn't have before. And we're through. And we can head over to this beautiful city, Danau the Flyer. Fl Flyer? Flower City. Oh, welcome to Danau the Flower City. Thank you. Thank God. Uh, you don't look like bandits. Your clothes are so filthy that at first I thought you might be. 
Uh, no. We really are covered in dust. It's natural the girl would be mistaken. Look how beautiful this place is. Oh my god. Don't stare at me like that. But you're dirty. It's not that bad. We don't have time for fooling around like that. Are you jealous? I am just concerned about the Dragoon spirit. Yeah, that's like a really big deal. No! What, what are you going to do? We're deciding now. <laughs> As I expected, you are one of the sacred sisters of Mila Suezu, aren't you? Say, say, Zu, say, I don't know how to say that. You have such a pretty face, don't you? Great. Selling her will make us rich. Uh, don't make a noise and we won't harm you. So somebody help! Oh, gentlemen over there, p please! Just go away or you'll be sorry. Are you gonna get in our way? Please continue. What? If you don't mind dying. You are the one to die! Ah. What, what did you do? Shall I continue? No! Please wait. I don't know who you are, but thank you very much for helping me. It's nothing. Oh, please, let me at least have your name. It's Lloyd. M my name is Wink. I'm a sacred sister of Milo Suezu. Se Seizu. Se Seizau. Seizu. Seizu. Mele Seizau. Look at there's bandits just hanging around. This city belongs to us. If you want to survive in this city, don't mess with us. A half year ago, it was a joyful, agreeable, and happy city, but since the bandits came, all the flowers are not doing well. Huh. So one of the sacred sisters. That's weird. Well, let's go in here first, shall we? Oh, why? Why did you go to Lynn? We're having a wedding soon. It's impossible to have go Lynn, not go to Lynn. It's impossible to have a talk with the Garages. Who, who are you? Oh, don't worry, we're not bandits. Really? There is something wrong, isn't there? We might be able to be of some help. Tell us. Okay. It all started this morning. When I finished my errands and came home, Lin was gone. In his letter, it says he's going to persuade the gang to pull themselves out of Denu. I'm supposed to wait for him at home. He left a letter? I have an idea. If I show this letter to the mayor, he might do something to help. The mayor is Lin's father. I see. Let's bring this to the mayor. You have to wait for Lin here. Oh, thank you. And we get the letter from Lin. All right, which is a key item uh, and a unique one at that. Lin is the son of the mayor. So if you show that letter to the mayor, he might be able to do something for us. Makes sense. A uh, very nice house you have here. Bright blue makes it look cool. You make it look cool. All right, the sense of a decorator comes off in here. So we'll head back out. I love this place. It is so nice. Huh. Beautiful. So, oh, in the water. Another Stardust. That is Stardust 26, my friends. So let's head up here into this big house. This is a big house. Oh, it's a church. It's been one month since we reported the damage by da bandits. Nothing happened and nobody came either. Ah, pitchu, pitchu. Gangs on the land, sea dragons in the sea. This city is doomed. I don't know why, but gangs come here a lot. They don't have any faith. Maybe they just like it because it's flipping beautiful. And wait for the day when flowers bloom in our hearts again. This poor city, man. Easily one of the most beautiful cities in, in Tiberoa. Haunted by bandits. 
There's the inn right here as well. There's nothing in here that we can get, but I thought I would just show you that there is indeed an inn. We can save. We can talk to this guy. My brother's wimpy. I'm acting as his bodyguard. Okay. So if we head this way, this actually leads to a clinic and a weapon shop and an item shop. You can see this person here. I am looking for the person who saved the life of Sister Wink. It looks like this might be, they might be guards. You are warriors, aren't you? Have you heard the name Sister Wink? Hmm. It's a nice day today. It's the best day for laundry. Okay. Makes sense. It's nice out. So these are guards from Milisezu. Milisezu. Mili, Milisezu. I don't know. I Listen, I'll learn. Ta, that's it? <laughs> Fine. We'll let you, but only today. Let's go. <laughs> Bandits. Scum, I tell ya. So right over here, we can go to the item shop and buy anything that we so choose. Uh, I don't have any Angel's Prayer, so I'll go ahead and buy one of those. Um, and we're actually going to see what items do I have that I can sell. I don't feel like I need this pellet. Remember, I did buy these uh, trans light here, but we're not going to need that right away. So, let's talk to this. I don't want to see Pa and Ma flattering gangs anymore. Alright, well, what about you, weapon shop dealer guy? They don't really have anything. A silver vest uh, and tiaras. Um, increases hit rate of magical attacks by 10%. I don't really think we're going to need that. Um, but it could be useful for uh, Rose, if you so wanted. Or the silver vest, which would also be decent for Rose. I'm not going to get any of that right now. Um, uh, ah, yeah, you know what? Let's see. I think I have enough where I can get, like, uh, one or two. I have enough where I can get both pieces. Let's do it. So let's get her the tiara and the silver vest on Rose. Both of those will be on Rose. We're not going to be using Rose for a little while, but it's still, it's still good to give it to her. And, of course, right here is the clinic. We don't have to go in there, though. There's nothing, nothing dramatic that we need. But we can continue into here, which is the mayor's shop. Mayor's house? Mayor doesn't have a shop. Talk to this person. I would like to go over there, but there's a scary person there. This bandit? Oh, they're not letting people pass. Wow, man. The name Flower City is not just a name. Bow, wow, wow. Oh, it's a guy and a dog sitting there. I was like, did the dog just talk to me? This is the way to the mayor's house. I won't let any suspicious people pass through here. But you're letting me? I, you don't know me. I'm suspicious as I'll get up. All right, so this is the mayor's house. There are a lot of books about politics and economics. I wonder if there's anything in here that we can find. It is tidy. It shows the person's personality. Interesting. Well, what's over here? You cannot meet the mayor because he is busy. I'm sorry, but please come back some other time. Can you take a look at this letter? This is... But please, come in. Mayor, a horrible thing has happened. It's about Mr. Lin. What? What kind of man would venture to face the garage gang by himself? I didn't know Mr. Lin was that consumed with... It was my fault for not realizing it. I bet Miss Kate is very stressed. You must go. As the mayor, I don't want you to be involved in this. We are already involved. The gang took something very important away from me. Where do they come from? They are from the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, but we don't know anything about them other than that. That place is very dangerous. They say nobody can come back once they enter the valley. Butler, don't say that, Lin. Lin went there. Now, we have to gather the people of Danu and form a rescue team. And then what will happen to the city? The gang might take over the city. Let us do it. Ah, we're more than capable. You were planning to go anyway, weren't you? Oh, it is encouraging to hear that warriors like you are going. Now I can face those punks in our city with courage. 
Let's talk to Lin again. I don't know how much people trust my word, but I will do the best I can. It's a strong son. Do you say anything? The mayor is right. We will fight against the gang. It's a strong son. Interesting. All right, well, let's go into the kitchen real quick because I have a feeling that in this water, wow, Stardust number 27, more than halfway there, which is pretty cool. So we're actually going to, uh, we're, we're going to leave. Please save Lin's life. We're going to leave and then we're going to come back in because I believe we can actually get something here. So let's go back and talk to him. Please save Lin's life. Ah, it's sitting on the table. I will be brave and fight against the gang. So this is the only time that you can come and grab this letter right here. This is Lin's letter. Should I get the letter? Yes, take it. And we'll go ahead and we'll get Lin's letter. And now that's a, a unique item and we, we have it we have it forevers. So I just wanted I just wanted to point that out that that's the only way that you get to keep that key item. It doesn't do anything, of course. But it's still there. Hey, you, Alki! Don't you dare touch my butt! Don't be silly. Why would I touch, dare touch a butt of a kid like you? Who's this? What did you say? I could forgive you if you'd admit that I'm too sexy to ignore and apologize. Huh? Is this kid dreaming or what? I can't stand it anymore. Nice! Ah, you, you don't know who we are. I know. You think you can get away with it? Let me see. Hmm. I think so. Guys, introducing the best character in The Legend of Dragoon. Oh, this is why. This is why I love this part of the game. Darn, you'll pay for this. I won't be paying you. Doesn't she have a better way to say goodbye? <laughs> Are you one of the Garage Gang? Do you want me to smash you too? Uh, platinum hair. The same as Lloyd. Hmm, the rest is different. Are you maybe one of my groupies? Hmm, don't seem like it though. You guys are some strange group of people. What's your name? Let's start. Mine's Miru. I'm the best dancer in Dono. Do now. We don't have time for playing with a kid. I agree. We can't waste any time if we're going to help Lin. Sorry, but we gotta get going. Hey, you said Lin? Then you guys are going to rescue Lin. How did you find out about that? Because I heard it from Kate. But people in this city are all chickens, right? So I was gonna make a raid on their hideout. Then those bastards gave me a hard time. I guess they didn't take me seriously because I'm alone. You know what? I'm gonna go with you guys. Hey, you don't need to make such a face. Just leave her alone, let's go. Hold on, do you guys know where the hideout is? It's somewhere in the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, isn't it? Wow, how naive. You make it sound easy, but you can't go through such a mel of a Hess kind of a place without a person like me who's totally knowledgeable and totally pretty. Besides, you need the permission of the king just to enter the valley, don't you know that? What are we going to do, Dart? This girl is serious. Oh, well, you can come. Are you serious? We can trust her intentions to rescue Lin. Besides, we don't know the place. We might need a guide. Right. He's completely right. Now, let's go. Beautiful dancer Miru and friends form a posse for dealing with the garage gang. I love her so much. This is honestly the strongest character in the entire game. I know that sounds crazy and she doesn't start off that strong, but she is quite literally the strongest character in the whole game. I love her so much. She joins the party at level 17 and of course she's not a dragoon or anything like that. She's just a spunky dancer. And she's amazing and I love her. I love her so much. Uh, I don't think we have anything quite uh, good enough to equip her with at the moment. Um, yeah, it's looking like I don't really have anything. I could potentially take the, uh, silver vest off of 
rose that we just bought. I'm actually not sure if she can even equip that, but let's see. I'm not even sure. And obviously we can't buy one, right? Another thing that I could do is I could take the... Um, I could take the the legend cask off of um, Albert and put it on her, but um, we're not going to do that just yet. She is going to be joining our party for soon. I don't know exactly when, but soon. We'll just equip that back on Rose. Uh, she does actually come with some additions as well, which I should show you. Her additions are kind of hard to nail. Not as hard as Hashel's. I would say his are the hardest, uh, but she, she can, you know, but she gets double smack. And she is just, I love her so much. She's the cutest. All right. That's it here. We can go this way now, which we couldn't go before. I'm relieved that scary person is gone. Yeah, Miru saw to that. I used to have a kitty named Miru. She passed. All right, and then we can talk to... The rumor about a phantom ship is scary enough, but now we have a sea dragon making a mess? I can't put my ship out to sea, hick. He's drunk. Although they say bars and bums are inseparable, I wish it were only true in books. What is Brother Garrett thinking about? Smells good in the barrel. Should be good spare. Oh. Brother Garrett is too soft. He even tried to calm a crying brat. Huh. That's interesting. They have been here for days. What should I do? Charge them? Near a bar. If they've been there for days, I'm sure you're making bank. I guess they're bandits. They're probably not allowing it. Anyways, if we continue over here, we will see that this place actually has a dock. I love the sea. Don't you think so? It's beautiful. I'm telling you, this area of the game is just absolutely phenomenal. We cannot put the ship out to sea since a huge sea dragon appeared. We've had to put the ship on land. Isn't it? Ah, love this place so much. We will be coming to this harbor again, though. Don't you, don't you fret. I wish there was more stardust or, like, things to do here, though, because this place is glorious. It's not only a sea dragon that has appeared in Elisa Bay. What else has appeared? I heard that a... I heard that a phantom ship also appeared in Elisa Bay. Hmm. Not looking good. This place has a lot of turmoil. More insidious. Like, like at least Sertio was just a war. You knew what you were fighting. Here, we don't really know what we're fighting. This city belongs to us. Cool. So we can head out. We want to head all the way back to Fletz now because we apparently need permission from the king. But I don't know if we're going to be able to get that that easily. So let's go ahead and through the barrens. And we've already got everything in the barrens, so we can just kind of get through. Uh, it might be worth it if you want to check out Miru. We can replace, um, let's replace Hashel and let's bring in Miru real quick. Just so you can see what she's capable of. And see her in combat because she's so cute. Literally my favorite character in this game. And, uh, and she will be on my main team. So, get used to seeing her, her around. She's so cool. And she's got very strong, I'll show you her stats in a second. I just realized I didn't show you. But let's see what she can do in combat. Watch, I'm gonna fail her first one right away. Like her first attack, I'm gonna fail it. These are earth shakers right here that we can attack. All right, Miru. I told you what I tell you. She attacks with like her back at first. And we want Shayna to get her dragoon level up as soon as possible, which is why I'm using her so much. It's just because her dragoon will actually, there's a couple places where her dragoon magic really just saves the day. So having her just be a little bit stronger uh, will really, really help. Ah, oh, I missed again. Isn't she the best? I love her stance, everything. It's so good. 69 damage, nice. Of course, these are uh, these are Earth Shakers, so they're Earth Elementals. I missed again. Are you kidding me? Horrible timing on her addition there. Like I said, hers are pretty hard to hit. Oh my god, I'm messing all of them up. That's okay. I did it on purpose. I just wanted Shayna to attack more. That therapy ring is so strong on Shayna. Mibru should get another attack. There we go. There we go. Double smack. You'll notice her speed is very, very fast. In fact, Miru 
the fastest character in the game. So if you have a party with Dart, Miru, and Hashel, they are going to be attacking non-stop. Which, spoiler, will be my final party of the game. That's cool. That's that's who I'm going to beat the game with, just because it's going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and take a, a look at her stats real quick. So we can see that her speed is 70. Hashel right now is 80, uh, and he's got stuff equipped that en enhances speed, like the Bandit's Ring. And he's a little bit, uh, well, I guess he's a one level lower, but still, he has something that, it, you know, the, you can look at their body, right? Without anything equipped, the body is 60. Hers is 70. Magic Defense, 54. Magic Defense of uh, of Shayna, 53. And Attack is 53. The Attack of Miru for Magic, 58. So she's going to be the one that's going to be using that. Of course, 87 is currently what she has equipped, which is super strong. Shayna's going to be using 103. But you can tell already just looking at her, she's not equipped that well. And she's so strong. Very, very underrated character. In fact, funny story. Uh, I'll tell you when we get there. But there used to be a boss that I was stuck on. Uh, my first time ever playing this game. And I, I just couldn't beat the boss. Uh, no matter what I did, I just couldn't beat it. And I thought Miru was horrible. And I stopped playing the game. And then I started playing again. I'll tell, I'll tell the story again later. But um, I started playing again. And I decided to use her. And I killed the boss like it was nothing. Because she's that good. So fun. Now, it is worth mentioning that I have not encountered scissor hands or arrow shooter yet in this area, but we'll have to come back to the barons again, so I'm not totally worried about it. So, there you have it. That is it for this episode. We are heading back to Twin Castle in Fletz now, and we have Miru in our party. We also discovered that Lin apparently went to go to the Garage Gang. We found out that there is a Garage Gang. Our Dragoon Spirit was stolen. There's a lot going on. In the next episode, we will head to the castle, get permission to the king, and head into the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, which sounds so cool. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Dragoon, and I hope that I can keep these moving for you. Uh, I really, really appreciate your guys' support in the comments and everything else. Uh, knowing that a few of you guys just love this series makes me super happy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the Garage Gang.